So when we waved a happy goodbye to Ralph in part one, he had given us some pretty decent definitions of the first, second, and third dimensions. And then he revealed to us that he thinks that answer 2D apparently... Andy doesn't seem to trust the generally accepted description of what three-dimensional is. So without further stalling for time, let's do this. Part 2. Many of us, we feel this is all there is. And for me, I had a lot of questions because I always knew there was more. But not just me. Many physicists also realize that there is more to this universe than meets the eye. And hey, that's fine. Believe whatever you would like. But until demonstrable evidence is brought forward to prove that any dimension beyond the third exists physically, we should reserve judgment and stay skeptical. So you have a lot of work ahead of you to prove that anybody is living in the fifth dimension. So... From the first dimension, you see nothing. From the second dimension, you see the first dimension. From the third dimension, we are actually seeing two dimensions, length and width. And height. Length, width, and height. Is that really that hard? Is this lost on anybody else? You are staring at this video on a 2D on a monitor, okay? If that was your terrible way of trying to prove your point, you failed horrendously. I mean, you hit way wide of the mark. But here's what I can do for you. Ralph, a monitor is a 3D object. You, sir, are a 3D object. Right now, you are being projected on a 2D plane. It doesn't make you any less three-dimensional in real life. So again, what the fuck was that supposed to mean? So for something to be experienced in the full totality of a 3D object, we would have to be perceiving it from the fourth dimension. Okay, fucking source, please. And no, you would not. Go pick up an orange or an apple. Now, granted, you can only see the part of the fruit that is facing you. But at the same time, you can touch the rest of it to feel that it's still got the same dimensionality. Oh, but you're also going to have to start with proving that there's a fourth physical dimension. Oh, you forgot that part. Albert Einstein, who spoke of the theory of relativity, spoke of the fourth dimension being time, motion. Ralph, do you even read the fucking graphics you put in your video? That said position in time. Go back and look at it. It only says position in time. It says nothing about motion for the fourth dimension. Now, many people might say that time is a man-made construct. I would consider the measurement of time to be more of the man-made construct, but it seems pretty debatable to me, so we'll move on. I say there is no time, there is only movement. Huh? Uh, what? So when a 3D object is moving around, it is moving in time. But didn't you literally just say... I say there is no time, there is only movement. So, other than the fact that you kind of just contradicted yourself, you're actually sort of right. But to experience the totality of a 3D object, you need to be in a fourth dimensional time space. See, and here's the proof that you don't even understand what space-time is. Because, no, you are thinking of space-time as a physical fourth dimension, when it is absolutely not. Space-time is essentially just a unique position at a unique time. Time as the fourth dimension is just another way of describing something in a system. 
you know, X was blank at Y time. Stop conflating the two things because you are wrong. That's where we get this whole concept of space time from Einstein. No! Again, space time is just a way of indicating something's position at a certain time. And technically, we got it from her mom and Kowski, but there's no reason to even go into that. Now, two films to look out for Inception and Interstellar. Oh, fuck me. You must be taking the piss. Christopher Nolan is really trying to give us a glimpse of the fifth dimension. No. N no, he's not. <laughs> Christopher Nolan does not have information on physics that nobody else has. Seriously, if you literally think that he's trying to show you the fifth dimension through his films, you, you need to check yourself into a psych ward. He's making movies to make money so that he can make a living, feed his family, do fun stuff, some traveling. These are not fucking documentaries. They are forms of entertainment. And if that's lost on you, I'm really, really sorry. Okay? No. Not okay. Now, I've spoken of the fourth dimension in time, but the fourth dimension in space... Cannot be demonstrably proven, and anything you say after this is just talking straight out of your ass. There's also the fact that you've been wrong about most shit that you've said. Could be seen in what we call a tesseract, which is basically a hypercube. When you have two 3D cubes and you join them up. <laughs> no, the fuck it isn't. But... None of us really know what that would be like because once again, we can't even see a 3D object. We see a building, but we don't know what's on the other side. Really? You're a grown man. Does this need to be explained to you? It's the other side of the fucking building. Walk around the building, asshole. Ugh. Okay, so not being able to see the other side of a 3D object makes it unexperienceable. Do you not hear how absolutely stupid that sounds? So, you had the German physicist Kaluza, the Swedish physicist Klein, and they came up with the Kaluza-Klein theory about electromagnetism and gravity unifying the two. This would take us to the unified field theory. Okay, this is all I'm going to say about this. There is no generally accepted unified field theory. And they were doing field equations in 5D. Yes, they sure were. But that does not in itself prove the fifth dimension. Again... That theory has not been demonstrated. Okay? W one more time. It has not been demonstrated. And just because I feel like I have to add this, they weren't doing <laughs> they weren't doing field equations in the actual physical fifth dimension. I I just I feel like I have to make that clear too. So it's around the corner that we will have solid scientific proof. Solid proof that five dimensions exist. Okay? Yeah, but people who are scientifically minded and rather skeptical aren't going to want signs or anecdotes. We want demonstrable proof. We want evidence. We aren't just going to accept the claim because someone said it. Some people even say there are 10 and 12, but let's just stick with five because let's not confuse ourselves. Let's not go so deep just yet. Ralph, 
it would appear that you don't even understand the third dimension. And those, comparatively, are pretty shallow waters. So you proving to anybody that they're in the fifth dimension is just entirely laughable. But anyway, this is where he ends his little lesson in dimensions. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. Uh, his statement that follows the last one is, well, it's this. Now, for the signs we are living in 5D. Which we will definitely be taking a look at a few of those in part three.